I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah, they messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Hey, Beesman. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? Well, I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. I'm Deep Space Luke. Let's play Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Isodecium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Okay. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodecium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? The Scavenger's base of operations. That's where we're heading next. These are the Scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survive by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. Yeah. We were a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for a stealth infiltration Ooh. and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Can I come? I think the scavenger base is probably my favorite mission in the whole game, so I'm very excited to replay it. And oh, I'm serious, man. Vulcans love it when you yank real hard on their ears. Some Vulcan pain ritual thing. Really? Yeah. How do you think they got so pointy? Good luck on the mission. Thank you, sir. Anyway, we need to be well equipped for this encounter. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade rifle. I know it's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're going to run into right there. Can't hurt to be prepared. Okay. What? What just happened there? Oh no, not again. I think I took out most of the hazard team there. <laughs> All right. You might want to test it out on the holodeck here first. That might be better, yes. Initiating program, Camelot. Oh no, we're in Camelot and there's a load of paladins firing at me. Another hollow match map repurposed. Dude, I'm over here. The shuttle bay was another part of Voyager I was desperate to explore. What's the problem, gents? I'll try it again. I've already tried it five times. They're stuck. The controls must have been damaged in the attack. Oh, great. Lang to Paris. I'm down below, but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Les, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe. You don't look busy. Of course not. Get down below and see what you can do. First, I just want to jump all over the Delta Flyer. Whee! Dude! Seroton gas ruptured? I remember the first Saturday morning I played this. So I kept trying to just run through here, but no. Tuvok will be very disappointed. It took me a little while to spot this and figure out that I could travel through this Jeffrey's tube and drop down to stop the rupture. You did it! Good work, Monroe! Good. Get back up here, Monroe. Let's get this show on the road. This is your captain speaking. The in-flight movie will be Captain Proton versus the Robo Zombies. Thank you for flying Delta Flyer Airlines, and we hope you have a pleasant flight. So sad we didn't get to see Captain Proton. Off we go. The Scavenger Base. Good luck, gents. Meet you back at the homestead. Avoid detection at all cost. However, if you do find yourself in a hostile engagement, defend yourself by any means necessary. Not the most elegant spacewalk, <laughs> but I'll take it. Okay, Monroe. We'll be able to track you for a little while here. We'll try to alert you to any dangers we can detect. I'm in. Careful. No running. Footsteps could alert the Klingons. Stay quiet. This is a stealth mission, and alerting the Klingons will have consequences for the story. So, lullaby Klingon on the bird of prey. Shh. Watch it. There's a couple of life signs just ahead. Lean around the corner and check it out. 
At least two Klingons. Shall I use my sniper mode? Didn't wake him up. <gasps> Drunk on blood wine, are you? Okay. I found some isodesium. This section looks male on in design. Run down, lots of fog. Radiation levels are high. Roger. Foster out. Uh. Healthy creature. Can't do much with the Klingons there. Guess we'll be dealing with some vermin on this space station as well. I need to get at that control panel. There's no ramp, but if I create one... Hiding in the shadows. Telsia checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found a sample of the Isodesium. Sir, this area looks like a Federation ship, early 23rd century. But I don't recognize these markings. This is not an archaeological expedition. Just get the samples and get out. Roger, sir. Telsia out. That is why humans like it. Don't insult my food tastes, Klingons. We are Klingons, not Orion pirates. There's the Isodesium. No honor being raised. It will be a good day to die. It'd be a good day if I can get the Isodesium in that room. Klingon computer core. Security cameras. That's it, that's my first sample. Is this what passes for a Klingon sickbay? Alright. <gasps> his his eye is actually wide open. Uh no 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 no. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. What is it? I don't know. Bones? Oh wait. I think I'm being followed. I'll check in later. Odell out. Tell Seattle Monroe. Hello. Monroe here. I need a diversion. This area is heavily guarded. Can you transfer power away from this quadrant? Monroe, Ken here. You're in the Klingon engineering section. Yeah. There should be a power transfer console on the top level. Roger. I'm on it. What does it look like? Uh, you'll know it when you see it. Okay. It's my second sample. What happened? I don't know. Check the terminals. Did I just take away their power source? Well, that looks different. That's the control panel. It looks very different to the rest of the Cleon consoles. That did it. Thanks, Monroe. Familiar sounds to any Star Trek fans. What was that? Check the transfer manifolds. I'll check with the guard in the cargo bay. What do you <laughs> want? Saboteurs. What? Why did you divert our power? We did not. Our whole system on emergency lights. Bah, so much the better. <laughs> now you won't have to see each other's repugnant faces. I don't even need to commentate, do I? And what I could sneak around, but it might be more fun just to trigger a bit of a conflict between them. And here's our third sample of Isodesium. We're about to enter Malon territory. Monroe to Foster. I have the last sample of Isodesium. I'm on my way back. Hold on, Monroe. Odell hasn't reported back yet. Oh, no. We can't get any response from him. Can you go check it out? It's properly noisy in here, but the Malon are the waste extractors of the galaxy. This is probably supposed to be a garbage scout. How do I get out of here? Yeah. Crawling through all this gloop. Ah, oh, Parasite! I told you we'd be fighting vermin. Whoa, a lot of vermin! Gross! When we had the briefing on this mission, they didn't tell us how much wet work would be involved. Toxic antimatter waste we've got to avoid. Wow, the Klingon area, but I'm going to keep up with the stealth approach. Pump controls? Huh? What happened to the pumps? They must have gotten jammed again. Let's go down and check it out. Okay, they've gone down there. Do you see the problem? Not yet. Maybe one of those parasite creatures got into it. Waste level? Keep looking. If we don't get these pumps working, then we can't empty the chambers. They drowned in their own toxic waste. 
And doing that's lifted up this crate, which we can jump on to get out. Oh, okay, I can drown. I could leap over and use the ladder or drop into this tube. No wonder the scavengers have parasites. They evolved around all this toxic waste. Really awkward bit of jumping to do. Again, this area is a little bit of a maze. We're in the ceiling now. Oh, we've reached Herogen territory. And when I say territory, I mean territory because these guys are hunters. Where is the Alpha? He's on a hunt. Some fresh prey, I hear. The Herogen are nomadic and very dangerous. In any other situation, they would not play well with others. I don't think stealth is going to work with them, so... Puny human. Puny human? How dare you, just because you're taller than me. That's that's heightest. Oh yeah, the strategy guide had a little trick where you can activate this lift and then step back, because it moves down quite slowly, and then jump down and immediately get behind cover. Oh, they look painful. Oh, it's Odell. Odell. Yes, sir. I was ambushed. The weapon. Communicator. Taken. Never saw them. Save your strength, Tom. Monroe. Wait. I still have to get one more sample of the Isodesium. Don't worry, Tom. I'll get it. Be careful. Ambush. If we had alerted the Cleons in their section, he would be found dead. <laughs> the box kept sliding. Time for the big guns! Grenade launcher! Oh no! Oh god! Oh god, I've jumped down! No, how am I gonna get back up? More Isodesium. Monroe to Foster. I found the last piece of Isodesium. There's a huge bay between us. There's a crane system of some sort, but the control room is on the other side. Okay, I'm here. Telsia. See the controls. Give me just a second. Behind you! Telsia, behind you! Take her alive! Well, oh. I'm gonna have to time this right. Yeet! So who are these humans? Well, they're not Starfleet, but this environment has a very nostalgic feel. Is that supposed to be a warning? We're about to find out. A sword through the earth, the symbol of the Terran Empire from the Mirror Universe. These evil humans were first seen in the original series episode, Mirror Mirror. Although they shouldn't be so evil to me if I just let them sleep. Move already. Chess. Whose turn is it? Yours. Oh yes, right. Mm. Slow game. Ah, oh. oh, sorry. Oh god. Like those broken doors over no, don't come looking. When are those lazy techs going to fix this yeah, thing? Yeah, it's been like this for months. Let's just jam it open. Yeah, fine. Hey, come on, let's get some grub. Yeah, off you go. See you later. This Constitution class starship has seen better days. That's the door of the force field. Old fashioned computer. Uh, three dimensional chess. Don't think anyone's going to win that game. I feel like I'm sneaking around a classic episode. Any minute now, I'll be meeting bearded Spock. Oh, main engineering. Yep. Oh, no, stealth didn't work that time. So they caught this woman trying to steal some of our isodesia. She had a whole bag full of it. Telsia. What? Where did she come from? Nobody knows. But Doc Krieg's got her down in sick bay for questioning. Sick bay. Okay. It's all about patience in these stealth missions. <laughs> out you go, out you run. Yep, goodbye. For a Voyager video game, they didn't have to go to the trouble of recreating the original series sets, but I'm glad they did. Halo frequencies open. Stop that! <laughs> the humans mentioned that Doc Krieg has Telsia in the sick bay. 
when you get there quickly. I don't know why they make us patrol all the time. It's not like the Malons would come back after what we did to them the last time. What does that mean? Unlike the other missions where Monroe's presence is a catalyst for what's going on, the scavenger base kind of has a life of its own. The scavengers are training, chatting, arguing. There are power struggles happening. And with our team checking in from time to time, it's pretty immersive. Oh no. Anything to report? Yeah, I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> you gold shirts are so lazy. Yeah, well you red shirts think you run this shit. Until they die. Watch your mouth. Why are you saluting a mirror? Why are you pressing buttons on a mirror? You're working too hard. Monroe to Foster. I know where Telsey is being held. But this area is swarming with scavengers. It's going to be impossible for me to get to her. Don't risk the mission, Monroe. If the odds are overwhelming, you're going to have to abort. No. Telsey knew what she was getting into. Not again. She wouldn't want you to get killed in some hopeless... Wait a second. I've got an idea. Monroe out. Oh, it's very fetching, Alex. Well, now he's wearing disguise, I feel like I've got to somehow. Okay, this is the best I can do, but I definitely look more rugged, yeah? Alright, here's the real test. Now, that's what they did with the Malon, put him in the agony booth. Long live the Empire! Stand back. Oh, sorry! I think Telsey's around here somewhere. Ah, Isodesium and all of her equipment, here she is. The prisoner is a bit stubborn. Get me some Veratrax 12 from the lab. It's the blue hypo spray. Uh, yes, Doc Krieg. Not to nitpick, Doctor, but isn't that technically a Cardassian control panel? Now, I can give Doc Krieg the truth serum, but that doesn't end well for me. So, perhaps Tranquilizer is a better option? Don't turn around. Ah. It's about time. What is this? I said the blue hypo... Haha. <laughs> Telsia, we're here to rescue you. It's me, Alex. Thank God. Undo these restraints. The only way back to the extraction point is through the control center, and it's sure to be guarded. All right, then you'll have to pretend to be my prisoner. Oh, come on, Monroe. That's the oldest one in the book. <laughs> Four of them. Be ready. I don't know if this is going to work. Is this the captain? Where are you taking her? She's my prisoner. Why did you bring her here? I never I... told anyone to. Wait. Who are you? Uh... Men them no! Oh, shoot the doors, yeah! You don't want any reinforcements getting through. They've cannibalized a constitution class bridge, complete with higher mirror universe captain's chair, with a Malon ship. I told you that was the oldest one in the book. Is that the only way back? The one and only. Okay, look, I've got an idea. I'll go out there and distract them. They shouldn't recognize me with this disguise on. Yeah, sure. At least not right away. It didn't work the first While time, did it? Distracted, you sneak out. Take all the isodesium with you. Hello. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh. The captain sent me down to check things out. Really? I didn't hear anything from the captain about this. Oh, we're just checking things out. Oh, yeah, the communications are out. He sent me down here to tell you in person. Tell us what. Uh, that I'm coming. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you before. Who? All hands, red alert. There's an intruder disguised as one of us with a woman. They killed the captain. Capture them at all costs. Uh... What a dive! <laughs> Stupid disguise anyway. We're heading back to where this mission began. Who's there? Uh, behind you. I am the hunter. You are my prey. It's the Herogen Alpha. I have been tracking you since you entered our hunting grounds. Your performance has been exemplary. Thank you. A challenging prey. Uh, I don't like the second half of that. There's no need for uh, this. Yeah. Can't we just... Whoa! He's got a very... Jesus Christ! He's got a very powerful minigun and a protective shield. Damn it. You did not live long and prosper, no. Ah, his blast who throws crates like a hot knife through butter. Every few seconds, his shield needs to go down to recharge. In that time, I can use my phaser to get some solid hits on him. Got him! You are the victor. May your hunts bring you great honor. 
kind of feel sorry for him. But we got ourselves a new weapon. What did I say about a hot knife through butter? Oh yeah! They bounce off the walls! Haha! <laughs> no need for stealth this time around! Only one thing for it now. Meet Telstra and the others back at the extraction point. Aha! Cleon Captain, you should have stayed asleep. We've made it. Okay, team. That's everyone. Let's get out of here. Activate the pattern enhancers. I've got the ISO diesel. The Borg! What are they doing here? They've taken Foster. And the Isodesium. Don't think Monroe saw that twist coming. Oh no. Did you? Live long and prosper, faithful viewers. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gaming and geeking. I also live stream several times a week on Twitch with a mix of sci-fi missions and social shenanigans. So be sure to come along for the Odyssey, and I'll see you again after a while.